Hi guys, welcome back. Well, as promised, today is going to be sharing with you my Vera Bradley collection. I've had several requests to show this because often in different videos, whether it be on my vlog channel when I'm traveling or I've done a few what's in my bag and different travel bag videos on this channel, I show a lot of different Vera Bradley bags and I get questions about them. I wouldn't say, um, you know, I'm the biggest Vera Bradley fan ever. I've mentioned that before. Like, I don't follow the patterns necessarily and like wait for new ones to come out and you know I don't carry it like a purse and things like that I solely use her products for travel because I think they're absolutely fantastic some of them can be a little pricey but um, I often get deals on the discontinued pattern so that is a great way to save some money with her line she offers them online the discontinued um, patterns or ones that are starting to go away and also in Hallmark stores. Hallmark stores um, around the country sell Vera Bradley. Um, also some other, you know, boutiques and things like that in your area may, but I know you can get them at Hallmark stores. And also, they will usually have a section of the patterns that are being discontinued. So definitely check out that area. Of course, it won't have every single product, but um, that's a good way to, you know, look at things in person as well. I have to say, um, Vera Bradley products are a slight addiction though. I feel like once you buy a few they are so nice such good quality so lightweight that they are perfect for travel and she just makes such great things you know and you don't have to use them for the specific thing that you know she calls them which I'll show you because I hardly use any of them for what they're supposed to be used for like some of the just the generic size bags but I just find myself always now um, when I need a new bag, you know, thinking of her line and thinking, oh, well, I wonder if she has something that would meet my needs. They do have some really cute patterns. Some I've bought some things, you know, because it was just inexpensive. It's not because I necessarily loved the pattern, but she does have some really great patterns once in a while. So I'm actually going to take you into one of our guest rooms because this is where I keep the majority of all of our travel items in that closet. And that way it's just easier for me to give her everything out and have it in one place than try to drag everything in this room and like hold it so up. let's go take a look at the items and then I will chat back with you here at the end okay so we're gonna start with the very first thing that I ever purchased and again I'm in my guest room so this is the comfort comforter that you see some of you may be familiar with that um, so the first thing I ever purchased was the notebook and this is actually the notebook with pocket and then this is called the pencil pouch and I just have some markers in here right now but as you can see, this is just a really great size. And if I happen to know the pattern, I will list it. But most of these have been discontinued because it's been a few years. But some of them are still available. But um, I will link all the products again below. And then you can pick out, you know, whichever pattern you like if you see a certain item. So this is just the pencil pouch. Um, it's a really nice size. You could use this for makeup brushes. You could put it in your purse for makeup. You don't have to use it for pens or pencils. And then this is the matching notebook. And it's a hardcover case with a spiral. And I used to use this for all my YouTube video planning and just projects around the house. That's kind of what I still use it for now is like projects um, around the house. So you can just see... Here's what the paper looks like. It has, you know, um, the print inside. It's really nice, you know, lined paper. So anyway, that is that one. And then I would say probably around that same time or after I picked up, this is the Medium Cosmetic. Um, and I've shown this in a recent video that was all about my, my favorite travel items because I'll show you what I use this for. But all of her um, cosmetic cases have a nice little, you know, hook over here. A really nice zipper this is a really nice size what I like this for um, and they all have this nice lining inside too so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty so I always keep um, the extra outlet here when we travel these are always great I keep you know extra memory card um, lock star suitcases and then what I put in here is like camera chargers phone chargers anything like that um, you know basically tech accessories that's what goes in this bag and it pretty much goes with us on every single trip. Next would be the small cosmetic bag and I do know this print. It's Tutti Fruity and I believe this one came out in summer of 2013. I just thought, thought this was a really cute pattern. I actually have a couple things in this. I really liked it. This also was shown in that video and this basically lives in my purse all the time. 
and then I also take it with me. So it's kind of like a little traveling, you know, pharmacy, if you will. Basically, anything you may need from hand sanitizer, I keep Advil, um, different medications, eye drops. Those are all the things that live in here. And as you can see by the size of my hand, this one's really small. So it fits great, you know, in a purse, you know, or everyday bag that you carry. Okay, um, a newer purchase that I made last year, this was in the fall. This is an iPad case, and this is in um, the Heather pattern, and it came out fall of 2013. They do still have it. I just absolutely loved this pattern when it came out, so I bought a few things in it. It just makes me happy because I really love purple and teals and greens. I just think she did a really great job with this pattern. Now, when I looked online, the only one I saw for the tech cases was the neoprene. This is not. This is her classic quilting. I know they still have this, but for some reason, this exact one, I couldn't find it. If I can find a link to it, I'll link it below, but it may be one of those items that's only in stores. Although I'm not sure why, because I think every single one of her items is on her website. So it just zips around, kind of halfway as you can see. And then it has this really cool pattern inside. It's nice and thick, so my iPad is protected. I actually have the separate Logitech keyboard attached, and it fits fine in here with that. So really love this. It's great. I just keep it around the house in this all the time. It's great for travel because I know it's protected. And again, I really love the pattern. I thought it was really pretty. Okay, next would be my Hot Tools cases. And she actually calls these Straighten Up and Curl. And I have them in two different patterns. I don't remember this one. This was my first one. But this one, again, is the Tutti Fruity. And... These basically just house my flat iron and curling iron when I go on vacation. The reason why I love these better than any other I've tried, and I've tried several, they have this great big pocket on the outside that you can put the cord, and then your actual hot tool goes in here. So even if it's hot, it has this nice heat-proof lining. You can use it, you know, right away, stick it in there. And I like, I don't know if you can tell with my hand, how big these are because a lot of curling irons and straighten irons are pretty big and this fits even my Hot Tools brand which is great. So I absolutely love these. They're nice and thin. Um, these always go with me. Okay next would be, this is called the Lunch um, Date and this is in Plum Petals. I know the pattern. I don't think it's still available though but I just happen to know what this pattern is. Basically I got this. It is a lunch tote but I don't use it for a lunch tote but you obviously could. It has a nice pocket on the outside. It has um, a card where you could put your name on it. I use this just to house some travel essentials. So as you can see, it opens nice and wide. I mean, you can fit a ton of things in here. It's got that nice lining, so if you did want to use it to put wet items or actual lunch tote, you could. So I showed this in that video as well. It has some inside pockets here. And I just kind of keep, you know, first aid kit, um, these kind of travel items like Lysol spray, Downy, some liquids in here. I always keep our sunscreen, a corkscrew, just kind of miscellaneous items that we usually travel with. Now, sometimes I don't take this whole thing because it is a little big. Depending on where we're going, sometimes I'll just take a few items out, put them in another bag. But this always just lives in our travel closet, basically. And so I know where all these things are at any given time. But this is really great for travel. It has a handle. You could use this for cosmetics, toiletry bag. It's great. Okay, next is one of my favorite things. And I just got this not too, too long ago. Um, this is the Jewelry Folio, and this is in the pattern Baroque, and this came out in winter of 2010. I was able to get this at a discount because um, it is an older pattern. Not my favorite pattern by far, but because I got it at a really great discount, that didn't bother me. I actually have a separate review video on this, and I will link that below. So you can see it's very thin, and I just absolutely love this because you can put a variety of jewelry in it. I just think it has really great compartments. Um, this big section here, again, I will link that video so I can I go a little more in depth and show you when I actually have jewelry in this. But this is absolutely great. Highly recommend this one. And last would be a somewhat newer purchase. I bought this last fall. This is the Weekender. And again, it's in the Heather print because I just absolutely loved this print. I just thought it was so pretty. Love the colors. It's not something I thought I would get tired of. If you see anything in the background, I'm actually planning for a little weekend trip um, as we speak. So that's why there's clothes and things in the background. It actually has a big zipper here that you could put things in. It's nice and big. 
I actually do have a luggage tag that matches. So these are great. She has these in all different patterns. This also has a detachable, really long, heavy strap with a nice quilted there on your shoulder. What I love about this bag, um, it actually, it's not full, so it's kind of hard to mess with here right now. It has two side pockets here, but this, as you can see, my hand goes all the way through. This is to put on a strap of your luggage. So basically the carry-on handle that pops out of your luggage, um, whether it be, you know, a carry-on bag, but you know, your wheeled luggage, this will fit down over it. So you could technically take this because it is um, approved. And like I said, I'll link it below. You can see the measurements. It is approved for carry-on. So if you had another wheeled carry-on plus this bag, that would amount to your two carry-on bags. You would have plenty of room for a trip, you know, whether it be a weekend trip or several days or even a week. But I love that it has that feature. I think that's really great. As far as the inside, you can just see how roomy it is. It has that contrasting pattern like all of her things do. It has two really large pockets over here. It has three pockets on the other side. So you can just see how roomy it is. And it actually is very deep as well. So really love this. I used this on a trip right after I got it. I thought it was great. I'm going to use it again. Highly recommend the Weekender. Um, they have several styles similar to this, but I really found I like this one because it has a sturdy bottom, not like the duffel bags where those are those come in handy with things too, but I was actually debating between the duffel bag and this when I got this one. So it has a nice structured sturdy bottom. It has nice structured handles. And then I also like the carrying straps. So those were the big sellers um, for me. But this is just an absolutely great bag. So I hope that really helped you guys see kind of my overall collection. Like I said, it's not huge. I don't find myself needing to go out and buy new things when they come out with new patterns. I just basically use mine for travel. Um, you know, it's great for makeup, anything like that. But I just wanted you to see my collection and my thoughts on it. Again, I have mentioned um, a lot of those pieces in separate videos. Wherever I've mentioned them or maybe went through in more detail, I will list those videos below. Again, I will list all the products below as well so you can see the measurements and the patterns and things like that. If you guys use um, Vera Bradley products, you know, for travel, let me know which ones you love. Maybe I need to check out some new ones. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.